all of us, and this is one I, I have difficulty explaining <laughs> because it's like, my God, the super moon. The super moon. It's, it sounds like something out of anime. It yeah. sounds like something, um, you know, out of a out of a superhero movie. But um, no, we do have a a super moon effect going on here, and it will impact storm surge. Is that not correct? And usually we love, we all, we, we get excited to talk about the super I moon. I love to go it, to the beach at a super moon at night. It's, it's beautiful. So big and bright and beautiful. Well, it, it looks big and bright because it's just a smidge closer than it normally is. And since the moon is what causes the tides to begin with, you would think when the moon is at its closest point to Earth as it is all year, this is the closest super moon that we have all year, it's already going to have an impact on the tides. If it had been a sunny day, we would notice that tides are about a foot higher than normal. And unfortunately, now we combine that with onshore winds. Yeah, and the high tides in a super moon, at least three foot. So you want to add three feet Tuesday night when the uh, the high tides are going to be occurring between midnight and 5 a.m., depending on where you live. So you add three foot to what you're seeing on the screen, and that's how that super moon is going to affect the storm surge. And I just one more th thing, to, you know, th with that high tide early Wednesday morning, post midnight before sun before sunrise, you know, if, if power is out and it's dark, you're not going to you're not going to be able to see that water rise and you if you have to know if you live in an area where this is a possibility of seeing that that water rise after midnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning you know make sure that you are shored up make sure that if you need to evacuate you evacuate because you're not going to be able to see that water rise in the darkness so just a big heads up there